Hello and welcome to this entry of the nail journal. In today's video, we're going to be revisiting my non-dominant hand. Now, if you remember about a month ago, I think it was a few weeks ago, four weeks ago, I did this set using the Biosculpture base, the, oh, I think it was D&D &D, Lost Lavender, the color, and then OPI top coat. Um, this is how they wore after, I think it was about three and a half weeks at this point. This was just at the weekend. And then I had to cover them up with blue for another project and then I just completely removed them. But this is how they were just before I did that and there was barely any lifting. They wore quite well, so I was quite happy with that. So I went ahead and removed this as I did in that previous video so that we can do this nail art today inspired by Bambi Nails on Instagram, um, which is one of my favourite nail technicians, nail artists, one of the first nail artists that I started following when I started out. Just showing you the two gel polishes I've layered today, Perfect Nude and Tea Time from DND. &D. And I've just got OPI top coat on the top there just because I wasn't doing the nail art straight away. I did this manicure, I think, like a day before. Um, yeah, so just grabbed my 100 by 180 and I'm using the 100 side just to refine this surface before we go in and do the nail art. And also it will just be a better base to work with. Also showing these wipes that I use because I always just like grab them and I don't say what they are, but they're just like alcohol wipes. Um, so after I finished buffing, I used that, but then I noticed that I'd nicked myself whilst buffing. And I also nicked myself here whilst tying my shoelaces the other day. I don't know what's going on with my skin. <laughs> But uh, yeah, thought I'd give that hand a break and we'd sort out this hand today since um, it was quite grown out anyway. So I grabbed the Blue Sky Blossom Gel and I've had this stuff for like almost three years and it's lasted really well. I'm um, just showing you there what that layer looked like. It went in with a very thin layer, like not too thin, but thin enough because when you then add gel to this gel, it's going to move around. And obviously if you put too thick a layer, it's going to it's gonna bleed into like your cuticle area and your side walls. So I grabbed Blue Avenue from Glitter Bells and I just started um, doing the snake print. Um, I've done this before. I used to do this a lot when I used to do press-ons, but I haven't done it. I'm going to say like it's been a couple of years since I've done this particular technique. So I was very rusty and I will slow this down at some point so you guys can see how shaky my hands are as well. So I'm working with my non-dominant hand and it's shaky. Um, I do get hand tremors and they are particularly worse when I don't sleep and I've not been sleeping well for the last couple of weeks. So yeah, it was an adventure and I tried not to overthink it being too perfect. I just was like, let's just do our best. Um, I was liking how the apex was looking even with that layer. So I just cured it for 60 seconds and then just repeated the process across the rest of my hand. And when I tell you guys, I had to redo this middle finger three times and I had to redo the pointer finger uh, once um, because I just wasn't happy with how it was bleeding. It's an easy technique, but it's quite hard to do one with your non-dominant hand and two <laughs> when your hands are as shaky as mine. I just wasn't laying the gel down as well. So um, I cut all that stuff out so you can just see when I finally got it right. Um, but it was also a reminder that when you do this technique, it's the balance of not putting too much gel, making sure you leave enough space between the lines, and then obviously making sure that there's equal amount of space on either side of the nail so that like the dots don't bleed too much, um, as it did on my other nails. But like I said, you know, I was trying to balance like overthinking it and actually just wanting it to look a bit neat. So yeah, same thing here just let it bleed out a little bit more, was fixing some of the dots on this side so they look a little bit more, you know, reptile -y. Um, And then, yeah, went ahead and cured for 60 seconds and then, yeah, just repeating the same thing here. Um, I don't know if Blue Sky still do this job, but it's really good. Like, I can't believe it's that old and it still works as well. Um, I've used it before in a couple of other designs, I think. Um, but yeah, I'll make sure to just link everything I've used in the description for anyone who is interested. Okay, so I went ahead and did my thumb off camera just because, I mean, it was getting a little repetitive. <laughs> um, but uh, before I decided to do the top coat, I went in with an alcohol wipe again. I wasn't expecting any residue to be left over because the Glitter Bell gels cure with a no wipe surface, but just to be safe. And then I grabbed my favorite matte top coat from My Lee, and I'm just doing a decent coat of that across all my nails and curing for 60 seconds. Um, 
yeah I, I will get into this matte top coat in a little bit I do love it but there's a couple of things I noticed after doing this but this is the full hand done and I grabbed this Vendini um, no wipe stone gel that I saw on AliExpress and I actually played around with this before I started recording the video just to see if it would be good for doing the droplets and it was perfect. I'd fully got out like four of my thickest gels and was like prepared to see which one would work the best and this one worked really well so I just grabbed a thicker brush and yeah just started um, putting these down because it's a thicker gel you have to kind of finesse it a little bit. Um, but yeah, it was quite easy to do. The only thing I did notice, and it's not massively noticeable, like less so on camera, more so to the naked eye, is that this gel has a bit of a yellow tint to it. So when I went to look at the reviews for the product, lots of people had used it to create like 3D art and they then like top it um, with like a chrome, which is perfect. Like to have that kind of gel that's that thick, that cures with like a no wipe surface is literally the best thing ever. I was so glad I found it. I will link this in the description and it was like, you know, it's from AliExpress, so it's inexpensive, very affordable. Um, again, I would be careful not to put this on my actual nail bed, like on my actual nail plate rather, but it's fine using for nail art. Um, but yeah, it does cure with a slightly yellow tint, um, which is not the best because then I would have just used my top coat, but it's not massively noticeable. And to be honest, depending on what colors you use for a design, like you could use this on top of anything. It would look fine, I think, on like chromes or, you know, like warmer toned colors. But like I said, it's not massively noticeable. My matte top coat was similar as well in that it cured similarly, but I was really chuffed with this. I did a 60 second cure and that was it. Let me show you guys the comparison, you know, what she asked for versus what she got. I don't think I did too badly. Moving on, um, just showing how many of these wipes I went through today, probably the most I've ever gone through, just redoing all of those um, nails. But I grabbed this jojoba oil and I'm just applying it to my flat brush. And this is a method I use to apply cuticle oil whenever I use a matte top coat and I want to take pictures. If I wasn't taking pictures, I'd just apply it the regular way. Um, but it's just a neat little way to do that. And that's it, guys. If you made it this far, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope you check out my next one. Goodbye.